All right, people, welcome back. More The Endo Commentary. So we are joined by Stu. Hi, guys. Stu here again. Yep, and uh, DN actually decided to update. So for Rated, uh, PP did get the adjusted hit, so not bad, not bad. So today we have uh, Team World. This is RF Pro. Oh, I guess it's uh, Burning Abyss. Damn. All right, at 1801 <laughs> with a whole bunch of experience. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, against... Zabuza, aka Fred. <laughs> or Fred. <laughs> <laughs> 1390. Fred in Japanese. Yeah. Zabuza. <laughs> that is, okay, I think that was a, a Naruto character. I haven't watched Naruto, but I think that was a Naruto character, wasn't it? Zabuza? I don't know. I don't so, know. <laughs> as you can clearly see, we have the uh, Burning Abyss. Actually playing Lind. Yeah, actually playing Lind. Uh, Burning Abyss versus. I guess it would be Atlantean Mermels, technically. Yeah, you can't really just call it Mermels anymore. The Atlanteans are such a big factor now. You have to train yours to mine, then you can't strike my effect. Okay, so it would be Regeki Break, Pitch for Cost, Zap the Lind. Wouldn't it be like a... Separate would, chain for the something. Wouldn't it go player turn? Would it? Wouldn't it be player turn priority? Because they're both ifs, so it'd be player player turn priority. So it would be chain link one Lin, chain link two Rhino, which means that he can't strike the Lin. They're actually gonna call an admin about uh, this. I mean, I guess, but I think that's how it would go, because they are both starting a separate chain outside of Regeki Break, because Regeki Break. Pitch, targeting Abyss Lin. Lin is destroyed. Player turn priority. Lin would go off. Rhino would go off, which means warning can't be used, I think. So he's saying that he can't strike it or yeah, something? Yeah, because it would be outside the chain. Because Rhino would be going off. So the only way he could strike Lin is if he doesn't want Rhino effect, so the choice is his. But I believe that's how it would yeah, go. He could just save the strike and then attack over the Lin and then strike it then. So it's not the end of the world that's true that's true so i guess we'll just go ahead and pause and uh we'll ho hopefully wait until admin comes or go quit and then we'll get a different duel so uh be right back good admin's on all right well uh that was actually wasn't as long as break as you think uh literally after saying that and pausing it the guy just said fuck it and canceled the call to admin and just reset a strike so i guess he's saying fuck it lind is fine so like i said lind effect rhino effect rhino's gonna go ahead and send skarm and Lin is going to summon the monster from the deck. Separate, uh, separate uh, end phase. Skarm is going to get you to start her tour guide. So there we go. Everything is okay. Because this is all, this is all during the. Well, no, Skarm hasn't got the search yet because this is still during like what main phase two. Yeah, this is still during main phase two. And now strike that. Yeah, simple as that. The. <laughs> Did he already? What is that Atlantean? I've never seen it before. <laughs> So there we go. Better have a Valor Maxi, or else. Oh god. There we go. Now everything is fine. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, DM decided to go ahead and do the adjusted hit. So as you can see, there's no PP. Uh, so we're starting to see some of the uh, lower ends of the decks. Uh, I would say deck number one is Cosmos. That, I, I, that's given. I'd say deck number two is. Mm, it's either Monarchs or Mermels. Yeah, it's either Monarchs or Mermels. Like, those, two, those two are a toss up. That's because... It's both of them can brick easily. Yeah, both of them can There's brick. Times I've played Mermels and just opened up all the discards, but not a discard outlet. Mm -hmm. like both of them can brick, but with Cosmos and Mermels being up there with Monarchs, and those decks don't really need to access the extra deck too much, their whole big lockout play doesn't hurt as much. So I'd probably have to give Mermels number two and Monarchs dropping down to three because since the top deck of pp isn't there and you're not that anti meta deck to the top tier deck you're not as good anymore you know i don't know yeah but monarchs still have the good cosmo matchup the cosmo matchup is pretty good yeah no their stuff targets yeah yeah that's true that's true like storm forth and All right, the, side, yeah. the other guy but their mermel matchup is bad so their like the matchup yeah. is bad so mm. okay okay so, I don't know. Those two are debatable. And then, uh, deck number four, I'd, I'd definitely have to get Burning Abyss. So, damn. Get wrecked. <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Put your helmet on. 
Warning, strike, about strike, tellers? warning. Uh, tellers are probably like... Everyone forgot about tellers. Tellers are probably like deck number five. I think they might get a little bit better with... Uh, oh my god, what's the name of that card? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yep. Bet you wish you saved that yep, warning. Yep, oh, there's this. Not like it would have mattered. Yep, there's that soul charge. We just both, everybody get their number generator on. I just did a card review of it yesterday, too. God damn it, Bobby. Oh my god. Card of Demise. Card of Demise. It might be an uh, interesting intro play instead of uh, doing uh, uh, Tsukiyomi. Just, you know, summoning Nuko High, sending the Neb, setting on your back row, card of Demise, drawing up to three cards, setting more back row. <laughs> oh god. Yep. You know? So. Wow, and he's actually playing uh, Sidra. Interesting. So, Soul Charge, some of that Poseidra, some of that Atlantean Prince. Hopefully you do something with that Prince, because that, that Deneb can easily run over. <laughs> so, uh, now since, I guess, now since PP are gone, I guess uh, Deneb decided to go back. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I didn't leave you guys for a different deck. <laughs> And he's like, God damn it, now PP has hit Ember and he was a hit. I gotta fight, I gotta worm my way into a different deck. New card for Cosmos confirmed. <laughs> it's just Dante in disguise. Dante is Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 just take off the mask. And it's, and it's Dante. <laughs> I knew it. Can he still use the effect of Megalo if he can't attack this turn? Yeah. I believe so. Uh, you can discard this card, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you contribute one of the phase of monsters. This card can make an second attack during each battle phase that turn. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. <sighs> so dumb. I, I... And that's level 7, so... My friends were talking to me about this duel, because they went to regionals. And the guy used uh, the Borg to, you know, send shit out of the extra deck. And it was dueling against Burning Abyss. You know what this fool actually did? He, wow. Oh, creature soft. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, Guess he wants Dante. Yeah, okay, then. Uh, he actually went uh, Mega Zaborg, and he sent all three Dantes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, Dante effect, put this Dante back. Dante effect, put this Dante back. Like, idiot. <laughs> and I get another free head. Mm, just like, good job. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's, I used to think Crush Card was good against Cosmos, and I Crush Carded a Cosmo guy, and he's like, okay, send Dark Destroyer, send Dark Destroyer, send Dark Destroyer, effect, effect, effect. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> wow, so that creature thought, take your Dante, and you can't summon any of your Burning Abyss. Whew. So I guess he just had to go ahead and crush that uh, Prince. <laughs> he didn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, it's either do that or lose. Yes. So, wow, fucking him up. So, I for, I, for, I, get it. I think Sir is at 2 and Graf is at 1, right? Yeah, he milled both his Sirs, though. Mm. Like, last turn. Damn. <laughs> He's actually playing Alec, which I've always hated. Another What does Alec do again? He, like, negates the guy's effect when he dies. Isn't that a little too slow? Like, why don't you just play Breakthrough Skill? Yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, Cow Cub's better, because, I mean, at least he can deal with problems at times. Mm -hmm. So, I guess you're just going to sit there on that, that Dante booty, so Sir and Rhino. So, definitely, uh, Rhino has rejuvenated Burning Abyss. Just not bad, not bad. Uh, you know, there's still a handful of people that's saying, you know, they could have more of their cards back, or they could have tour guide back. It's like, no, they're 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 fine. Their deck number. I heard some people say two or guy to three just because their CG has no. it. Like, what kind of logic is that? No. Like, uh, OCG wants Burning Abyss to be good. We don't want Burning Abyss to be good. <laughs> yeah, we're getting Beatrice in a month. We are? Yep, the new gold series. Oh, that's confirmed? Okay. So oh, there yeah. you go. Burning Abyss are getting even stronger. That's why the stuff's going up in price. Oh, okay. I thought it was just going up in price just because the deck is looking like deck number four or five right now, so... Yeah, and maybe that too. <laughs> That's interesting. And uh, then I guess we might have a promising look at the new version of uh, Super Vice then. You heard about what we're planning, right? What are you planning? Well, of course, uh, Laval with Chain is banned, but, uh, well, if we're getting Beatrice. So, uh, how about uh, Doom Shaman plus Mally? 
oh, yeah. 2500 <laughs> Lavavo Chain. That's when it's it's destroyed with Battle of my card effect. I get Pilgrim Dante, because why not? It seems like it might work. It seems like it might work. <laughs> <laughs> you can have fun with it. So I guess he was out of Dante's and he had to make Engineer. That sucks. Yeah, because he already summoned two Dante's, and that's the third one right there. You can never have enough Dante's. <laughs> I know, there's no limit, they probably play at least, like, five or six, maybe. <laughs> there's, uh, Dante, and, uh, Dante, Dante, uh, Dante, and, uh, uh Dante. <laughs> Alright. It's like, Dante, 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 Downer, 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 Virgil, and the rest doesn't matter. <laughs> maybe one Acid Golem for those random situations. So, how many Beatrice does OCG run? I guess they're gonna be looking at precedence over there now. At least two, if not three. Yeah. And then, one or two, uh, Pilgrims. I mean, their their extract is pretty open, yeah. so why not? <laughs> yep. They're just trying to stall, hoping if he gets the Raigeki. I think more people are going to start main deck and Raigeki and side deck and Dark Hole now. Hmm. Why? Cause just because of Mermills and uh, Monarchs. Not too good against Cosmos and... I'm wondering if um, Monarchs are going to start playing more uh, March. That's the one that can't be destroyed, can't right? Can't be destroyed or targeted. Oh, yeah. And that's power. You know that's power. Right now they play, like, what, yeah, one? Yeah, they play one. I wonder if they're going to up it to, like, three, just so they can get the guaranteed search uh, with uh, Pandiety. If that's what they want, you know? That's just another search card that's very powerful. Pretty much like, hey, you know... If you don't got that uh, Twin Twister MST, let's go. <laughs> uh, this, t <laughs> this 28 B that I can't be destroyed by Battle of Our Card Effects, like, the, s the snuggles are real. <laughs> yep. Did I say destroy by battle? I mean, it can't be... No, no. Okay. It's not that yeah, good. It can't be targeted destroyed by card effects. But it's a 28 beater. Like, but I guess you could That's just... like the one guy in the episode who thought Riffly shit couldn't be destroyed by battle. It's like, no, that, that'd be too Yeah, good. that'd be, that'd be busted. But, uh... I mean, it's a 28 beat. I mean, I guess Cosmo could still handle that. I just summon that uh, that Dank Destroyer and attack over it, because they only get an attack boost when they attack, not when uh, uh, they're being attacked. I'd... Yeah, and they have to be attacking a monster. Yeah, so. I actually had to uh, freaking uh, relook at that, because I already talked about it on Daily Duels yesterday, but uh, I had a friend who was playing Monarchs, and, you know, with uh, the PP pee -pee hit, he thought that you know, Monarchs were the best, right? So uh, he just <laughs> so he just happened to have a particular deck on him that he wanted uh, me to duel against them to prove that Monarchs were the best. And you know what deck that just happened to be? What? Full Power Dragon Rulers. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you already know how that duel went down. <laughs> Dragon Rulers demolished. Yeah, I slapped the shit out of him. Of <laughs> I'd Don't ever challenge me. <laughs> I played these for days. I was like, baby effects, summon baby effects, summon super juve, draw four. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I got a heart on. <laughs> the power. So uh, Most have had someone super juve me with seven. Damn. And he just drew into his other two super juves. He was like, yeah, draw 14 more. Totally fair, guys. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Then you get to fill up your graveyard with all the freaking dragon rulers, like so busted. Mm -hmm. And people, are, you know, people still today think that that card can come off. Like, no, oh, just, just no. no. <laughs> like, I don't care if dragon rulers is unvented. That card shouldn't be like that in the first place. Like, oh yeah, that's totally what we fucking need. So you can just be like, oh well, let me go ahead and activate Twin Twister, pitch my fucking uh my stone. Get my blue eyes, oh, pitch my wow. fucking blue eyes, and get my two blue eyes, summon freaking alternate, super juju, draw, like, no. Because <laughs> it's, it's not distributing, it's discarding, too. So, yeah, and you know, you guys definitely know blue eyes be discarding. But, yep, that's a game. That is a game right there, people. <laughs> so. I didn't know that Fred was so low on life yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, he got down on life points and had to burn him for the, the remaining damage. Not bad, not bad, uh, RF Pro. Yeah, that happened to me. I was playing fucking uh, Tower when I was playing Tower Turbo. I got burned out by volcanics. He burned by volcanics. Yeah, he burned the living shit oh, out of me wow. with like uh, what's the one that they don't play often? Scattershot. Uh, the trap card that like is a magic cylinder. No, no, the monster. It's like I take the damage and he takes the damage too. 
What's that volcanic it's monster? Sketch. I, no. I don't know what it is. God, see? I don't, God, what is that volcanic monster's name? That's gonna bug the shit out of me. <laughs> it's able to stall out the duel that much, even with your towers on Yeah, the pretty much, because whatever damage I would take, he would take, and then he would just, you know, burn me for 1500, like, scatter shot and shit, and he would just wreck me. Wow. Yeah, so, despite having towers on the field, I actually still lost. <laughs> And then I was playing fucking chicken game and shit. <laughs> so I'd play a chicken game, pay like points, draw cards, and he would just destroy my chicken game and then burn, start burning me for damage. So I got I got fucking destroyed. I, I, the number generator again. Like I said, I should probably go ahead and search up this volcanic monster before uh, people in the comment section tell me what the hell its name is. Volcanic something. Volcanic. I can I can see the the monster and everything. I just cannot think of its fucking name. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's it. I, just son of a bitch. Just just watch the duel. Yep. <laughs> you know, just watch the duel, guys. Put your helmet on. So I guess Mermil still like to go second. Yeah. Cause they're baking out to KU, so. No, that's not Doomfire. Is it? There's that expensive Tius. My god. <laughs> wow. I was say, do they even really play Tius? There's some. I know the guy that topped at Sydney didn't. But that was like. He was playing like triple Ghost Ogre, like triple of every hand trap. Goddamn. And now there's like no needs. I mean, I guess you could play like a couple TSs. What is your name? I see you. I see you. You're trying to search it on DevPro or something? No, I found someone's deck profile and he's running it, and I'm trying to see his name, but the image is so small, it's so blurry. Oh my god, this is gonna piss me off. <laughs> this is actually going to piss me off if I don't figure this fucking card's name out. <laughs> All right, what does it look like? I can go on Dev Pro and try to find it. I don't. It's a volcanic. Volcanic. I think it's like a level four. It's like when you take damage, you banish it, and then your opponent also takes the damage as well. <laughs> it's not slicer. The level four volcanics are slicer. Okay. Rocket. Counter? Is that his name? No, yeah, it's level yeah, it's three. Counter, level three. You banished it. Yeah, yeah, level yeah three. counter. It's like, what is the name of that card? It's like he countered <laughs> me and beat me by burning me. It's just like it's like he countered me. What is the name of that monster that he? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but I didn't even know they actually played uh, uh, Neptibus because you're always searching for them sea serpents. You know, Neptibus has nothing to do with that. He's an Aqua, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And wow, we see that horn of heaven. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a card that Burning Abyss like to do. Yeah, it's still a good card in the I deck. I saw Klee's doing it a little bit too. For the one second they were there, they're like a blip for like a second. Like, and Kevin Lee's like, they're not dead. What this format? Uh, Klee's actually did something. They topped this one regional and then Mega Capital G hyped them up for like a little bit. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> I just stopped playing them because I was just sick and tired of my terrible luck, and uh, there wasn't enough floodgates. There just it wasn't enough. I needed more floodgates. <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> so you, so he's gonna pay yep. cost at the pike, but not search. Yep. So just pay cost. Okay, then just pay cost. <laughs> and maybe Castell, I guess. Oh yeah, it is 2200, yep. so I guess you can do yep, that. 2200, and then no effect. Because it says till the end of the turn, right? Yup. Wow. And yeah, yeah. How many was that? Three? Yeah, and they actually play. Oh, four, God. Five, uh, five damn. Oh, and they actually play Traveler now. They, do, they used to not play Traveler, but now all of a sudden. Yeah, Traveler's the nuts like, right wow. now. Wow. <laughs> Ever since that first initial hit. Mm-hmm. 
all the builds are playing Traveler. I used to hate Traveler, and then I'm like, oh, dang, mm -hmm. you can OTK so easily yeah, with it. Yeah, now you gotta play it with freaking certain graph hole hit. Just like, now you can just pitch them and just target any other burner as much as they're sensitive with this turn. Even pitch from your hand for hand traps. Like, well, not hand traps, traps that require discarding. Two different things. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's gonna be close to game. Yep. Five, six thousand. Oh, it's not game oh, yet. You're not gonna actually itch. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use your effect. So, Scar Monk go after in the end phase. And wow, you're not even gonna use Dante effect. It's <coughs> not just two thousand. Oh, okay then. Two thousand. Almost really want this. He really wants that effect, so he doesn't kill the dweller. Not have to deal with it next turn. I'll go ahead and do all my milling shit next turn. Because whatever he milled, he was just gonna block with dweller anyway, so. Yeah. But damn, that traveler just came back with the sickness. Like, holy crap. Came out of nowhere. You thought you were in a winning position. Yep. Nope. <laughs> in a winning position. nope. Nope. Like, what do you think? Deck number three? One card wins the duel. Mm -hmm. Deck number three versus deck number four. <laughs> and damn, just shut him down. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. So, like I said, DN updated for a rated so we probably won't be seeing much pepe i said i think i saw lithium trying to you know do something with the deck but i, I didn't get it especially when he, he always kept on open, getting cards at number generator so i really can't even consider that uh competitive when number generator is a thing like of course you got your one fucking monkey board of course you got your one skull crab i took here so because you got your <laughs> one luster yeah, of so, course. No, no, fucking number generator is ridiculous. So, you could probably have Pepe and be like, oh, well, I'm mine. I get all the cards I need all the time, take it to a freaking regional YCS and just get destroyed. So, oh, where's my number generator at the YCS? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Stu, for joining me. No problem. And uh, I will see you guys on Thursday with some more DM Duel commentary. All right, people, thanks for watching.